quick explanation of the four quantum numbers and why anyone cares. First of all, we have four quantum numbers. We have n, which is basically the energy level that the electron is in, especially if you remember back to Bohr-Rutherford diagrams. L gives you the shape of the orbital. And there are different values that L can take, all the way from zero up to whatever n is minus one. ML helps to control the maximum number of electrons in each orbital. It goes from negative L to positive L. And I'll give you an example of what I mean. MS, or the spin quantum number, is really only there because each orbital holds just two electrons. So, do you remember your electron energy level diagrams like this one? If so, I'm going to go show I'm going to show you that when we have an electron in the third shell, the quantum numbers help to explain why the electrons are like this. And this is the important takeaway message. The quantum numbers are really only there and we only invented them to help us explain why electrons sit in these energy levels the way that they do. I don't know of any other purpose for them other than that. So let's take a look. When I have an electron in the third energy level, n is 3, that means that L must be either 0 or 1 or 2, because L can only go up from 0 up to n minus 1, in this case 3 minus 1, which is 2. Now, this L equals 0 represents an s orbital. L equals 1 represents what we call a p orbital, and L equals 2 is a d orbital. L can't equal 3, so there's no 3f in any atom. Now, when L equals 0, ML can go from negative L to positive L, or in this case, plus 0 to minus 0, which is really only 0. That's the only option here. ML has to be zero. So each s orbital only gets one of these dashes in the electron energy diagram. Each s can only hold two electrons. When L equals one, ML could end up being minus one or zero or plus one. So each p orbital has three dashes on which you can put two electrons each. And a D means ML can be negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, or 2, all the way from plus or minus L to plus L. So each D orbital gets five dashes. If L was 3, we'd go from minus 3 all the way to plus 3, which is seven different numbers, and you'd have seven dashes. Now for each of those mLs, ms, we say, can be plus or minus one half. So that really means that for each of these mLs, or each of these dashes, we can only jam two electrons in each. One happens to be spin up, the other happens to be spin down. But ms here is plus or minus one half for each of those mLs. ms here is plus or minus a half you can only jam two electrons in each of these orbitals. So, to recap, you have four quantum numbers, and we have certain rules about each one. And the only purpose for those rules is so that we can explain why we can stick two electrons in an S, and six in a P, and 10 in a D, and things like that. Take a look at my other videos for how you would end up filling this electron energy level diagram. And take care. Best of luck.